Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 2, and you can see how long I've been away from the game. Yeah, this is, this is why I chose to go idle, because, at least at this point, I I really, I mean, I'm gonna really just gonna be going idle. So, this is why after getting you will earn gems, which provide powerful bonuses, but at the cost of resetting your realm, Already prestige system? I barely got anywhere. Don't worry, you'll keep all gems and trophies you that you've unlocked. Then where's the button? I, I, I don't want to spend everything right now. I should probably not buy max. Let me go to upgrades. Um, I oh got yeah, the Royal Exchange where I can buy like max. Isn't it like I? I don't even know what I get. I get something. Like, it gives- I don't even know what it gives me, but it- I- I forgot what some of the things do in this game, so... I mean, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I mean, maybe I should buy Max? This is buy smarts. Maybe I'll just do that. And I have so many, I can get, get like- 70 But it seems like I'm gonna I'm gonna need to keep the goblin ones I have no idea what what this is actually doing, but uh, Whatever. Oh, yeah, the the I, I can get I think these are just production multipliers so I mean what are gems again? Assistance they'll oh yeah, aren't those the auto clickers almost? I, I forgot what a lot of the things do in this game. Um, passively, based on clicking, reward, yeah. The, and then, I don't even have gems. Increases all production by 2%. And also, it'll increase your chance to get faction coins by 0%. But after getting now, you'll gain 4 gems. This is not... I do not need that yet. I probably should just buy... So it looks like buying smart just makes it go by tens. So. Or by hundreds. I'm not even sure. Hopefully I'm not spending too many coins. Um, looks like it's just going by hundreds here. I mean, as long as it's not... I'll just do like ten. A few of these. And then I can get actually quite a bit of portals, which will help me. And then I'll probably just do this, I guess. And that'll get me upgrades. Um, production bonus from gems is double. That, that could be useful. Increase the production of all buildings by 0 0.75 per orcish acres. Or arenas, not acres. That's 5 trillion though, but it's a 75% overall production. So I guess that's pretty good. And then these are, these are super cheap, so I'm just going to get it. Anything that's like under a trillion at this point, I think, should be done. Because they're still only in the millions. So, and then, what is this? Increases Royal Exchange bonus. I don't even know what the Royal Exchange does all that much. It seems like I'm just at, at 10%. And then the Goblin Coins give me... Oh, it's 500 Goblin Coins, not 500 Coins. Well, except these are going to be... And this gives me 11 gems now. 12 gems. Okay, so it's going to be more. I guess I can... Can I get any Hall of Legends? Yes, I can. Um, is it... I think it's doing a decent bit. Yeah, it is. I guess I'll just be buying tens of everything. I'll buy smart of this. Um, I can even afford this. Wow. Okay, this is a lot faster than I expected it to be. And I guess I'll just do this to get that up to 50. And I'll buy 10. What's doing all the production? Hall of Legends. I guess I'll, and then also get a few portals and an Orcish Arenas actually help increase overall production. So I'm just gonna get tens of everything. Like maybe every everything here will help a little bit because because now I'm getting 12 trillion per second. 
And assistants are doing a little bit. I'm unlocking more trophies, which I have no idea. There's like so many of them. And yeah, I, I don't even know. There's, I mean, the trophies at this point, I don't really need them. Um, look, looks like I'm just, I mean, eventually I'll be going for all of them. Spend, hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess that's, can we off time? Yeah, I, I think all of these, I think all of these are just me being way too idle, essentially. That's, I think, what it comes down to. The upgrades are pretty good as well. This is, I think, is a book. Oh, this is good. 106%. And that can just, that's just going to keep increasing. It's all neutral building production. That's expensive, though. Um, that's pretty good. 100%. I guess these clicking ones are decent. 400%. Guess I'll buy these. And then, is this Halls of Legends? Increase the production of all other buildings by additional. Okay, so I guess the trophies do matter. Even, I mean, there's so many of these trophies. Um, what else? There's get one quadrillion coins by clicking in a single game. I'm already getting close to that. And then getting one ruby. I don't know how to get rubies. 100 million faction coins. I already have 2 million. And then this is this this helps production even more. I'm getting 100 trillion. I guess this will help a little bit. Oh yeah, the Hall of Legends is a neutral building. I I forgot. Maybe I should just buy smart. I, I'm not even sure what I'll do here. I, I guess buying smart seems seems like a a good way. And I'm getting more trophies. Once I get 200, that gets me trophies, which help increase overall production. This will help 500%. Increasing the clicking, and then increasing clicking and the production of all buildings. Now, now it's getting a lot faster. How many... Ooh, I can abdicate for almost 200 gems. And each gem increases all production by 400 I see. So, right, I know this game gets a lot more complicated, but the thing is that at, at this point, it just seems like a pretty basic cookie clicker type game. Like, it, it, I mean, yes, all the to all the choices in the beginning are they're overwhelming. But, but this, this, that's one thing. I I wish that that you weren't thrown choices and the f like j like you weren't thrown um, game changing. Um, choices in the first 10 minutes of the game. That, that's, but I think most of this game is really good. Each time you cast a spell, you also cast a free tax collection. What is that? 30 seconds worth. It's pretty good. Maybe I can do. Isn't this? That, that's pretty good. All buildings, 400%. That, I mean, this is doing. Hall of Legends is doing the most. So, I mean, that could be the thing that gets me. The most, and this is instantly produce faction coins. I do not need faction coins, so I guess if I'm able to do a call to arms, and this will, it's basically the amount of buildings I own. So, I I think, I think this will help. Like it just keeps going up every time. It's now over 440 percent. So I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do it because it also gives me a free tax collection, which means I can I can get more. I can get more upgrades. So anything big, like a, I guess I'll get some of these, um, and then I, I guess I can even get these. This is 50 quadrillion, each faction coins, um, fine chance based on the amount of which conclaves, these. Hmm, so that means I'm gonna get more faction coins. Am I still in this? I don't think I, I don't think I am. I mean, I, I'm not even sure, but, I mean, this game does seem really cool at this point. I can abdicate for a thousand gems. Maybe I should do it at this point because that's a pretty large production multiplier. I'm not sure if I keep my mana and all that, but I guess I'll see. And the shop, uh, is that, yeah, it's just real money. I forgot. I, I forgot what a lot of the buttons did. And I have gotten more, a lot more trophies. There's, there's so many of them. There's like a thousand. Yeah, there, there is almost a thousand trophies. It's really crazy. 
I think what I should do at this point, though, is I should abdicate. Because this is going to give me, I think, a 40 times multiplier. I'm just going to go for 1,000 gems. So here we go. Abdicating will reset all buildings, upgrades, and coins. Well, keep your trophies and be rewarded with gems. Otherwise, you maybe spend rubies to gain gems without resetting. So I guess rubies are like rubies and clicker heroes, where it's like the premium currency. So it'll increase production by 4,000%. And I'm not evil anymore. That's the first thing I noticed. The, the screen. Open the upgrade panel in order to view it. Oh, there's a buy all button. And yeah, I I know it's the. I mean, I, I if abdicating, I can choose between good and evil. That means that that's a very different things. So unlock the power of gems. Um, which will increase overall production by two percent. All your gems will increase. So that means. Hmm. Maybe I'll get a. Am I getting a less production multiplier? But I'm getting. Maybe I shouldn't have got that. I'm not even sure. Um. Wait. How much do I? Be, I'm like. I can buy one. I'm like. Yeah. Now. Now. Of, now. Of course, it's gonna get a lot faster because. That. That's how the game works when you. I. I didn't even see what that was, but is it free? Um. Base clicking. Okay. That means 50 coins, which means I can buy more blacksmiths. I guess, so I guess, like, I can choose between abdications whether to be good or evil. And I can go into different factions as well, maybe. Okay, maybe the, maybe it's not all that game-changing. I thought good or evil was going to be a thing that persisted the entire game or, like, a large chunk of the game. Like, like, ten plus episodes. Or and maybe you'd only get to switch, like, not that much. So... I'm just going to do the same thing as before at this point, just because I'm used to it. And then maybe I'll choose a little, choose other things a little bit later. So, because that's, I, I think that's the thing I'm going to currently do. It just seems like this is the, the best strategy at this point. And then I can start getting the upgrades. Then I have to choose which faction to be in. Um, now there's the buy all button. Um, how do I choose the faction though? Um, clicking the no, it's not. Oh, I'm mean, gonna get it by clicking the landscape, but I don't. Just, I don't know how to. I don't even know what the factions do. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I could just be the goblin again, because that's where I, I was before, and it and it seems to favor goblin. I have the most goblin coins out of all of the coins. I think once I start getting more of these, yeah, this is it. Goblins trade treaty. So I, get, I, I think this is the goblin faction, and this is the royal exchange, which I don't mind. I'm not even sure what this really does. I, I really have no idea what this does. But I mean, maybe I'll just buy one. Just like, let's see, fairy. What does this even do? It, it, I lose all my fairy coins for nothing. I don't know what it is. But I, I think these do help. And I, I do like the way this, this game is going. It, it, I, I think I'm a little bit... It seems a little more natural here than before at the very beginning. Just because I, I didn't exactly know what to do. At, th at this point, I I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try to go for the Hall of Legends. That that seems like the thing I should be really going for. And I guess I can even do a call to arms, possibly, or I'm not even sure. Um, per slave pens, that means I can focus a little more because this will be doing all upgrades. Um, so, or this will be. Increasing all production, which is always a good thing. I always like to see increase all production. So, I I do know there are prestige layers in this game. I I I, I know there's like three, um, and I guess abdication is the first one of them. 
But I don't think the prestige mechanics are like the the things that, that makes this game great, as people say. Because because this, this, this because people say this game is really good. Like, one of the best incremental games out there. So, I mean, I'll trust them on that. Because, I mean, it's okay. It's not bad at this point. So, I mean, it does seem like there's a lot of potential. Like, I mean, once they know what the factions actually do, it'll be a little bit more... I mean, it'll it'll be a little more straightforward. I mean, may, maybe... The, maybe what this does... Wait, it's... it's Increasing the production of all buildings by zero, no, eleven percent. Wait, so it just, wait, so it just increases all production. So it, wait, so it do it. Yes, this is going up. As I, I see. So the coins actually really do something. I mean, I could even do it with the goblin coins if I really wanted, but I think the goblin upgrades are a little better. So maybe, maybe in the next episode I will choose the good side and see what it's like on that side. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure um, what it, what each side is really... Saying this is a more idle side, the evil side, and then the good side is a more active side. So, I maybe could go for this. This is going to help... Oh, that's going to help increase production by a lot. And once I get the Hall of Legends, that's... Hall of Legends seems like a good thing to get, but I think while I have this blood frenzy going, I'm just going to try to increase the production of all the evil buildings, so th then I can, so then I can start to buy these, and this is going to help increase production a lot. And the buying smart seems pretty good, or I could just buy max. I'm, honestly, I'm just going to buy max. I don't, I don't care about keeping them with the perfect zeros. There's, there's no point. And that, and just buying max just seems like a simpler thing to to do, and it's just as powerful. So, what do I need to do to get abdicate for more gems? I need I need quad. No, I need I need trillions more coins. And I'm, I'm getting there, but that's just one gem, and I'm gonna need more gems. So, so I see what this royal exchange is doing. It's an it's an all production multiplier based on on your faction coins and I can click to help give me more um, of the coins I want like if I could get the if I could get more goblin coins that would be really good so if 99 and then if, there's 100 so that means I can I can get this which means I can get production bonus from all gems is double that's gonna really help that's just an that's just a double basically that's just a four times production multiplier a free four times per which is really good, like, I mean, this is almost like Adventure Capitalist, except a little bit different. Because these are like the buildings, and then the upgrades seem pretty diverse. The, I do, I mean, now that I know what, what these, the faction coins actually, or at least the Royal Exchange does, that's, that's gonna help me get, that's gonna, that's gonna help me with this game. Is this 50 trillion? Yes, this, this is a over a double multiplier so that seems really good at this point and I could even go for other things this is 400% is this a this is a hall of legends thing which is that's that's 80% of production so I should always try to focus on the hall of legends but these other buildings are, are not um they're, they're not useless because I can just because of these upgrades that are all helping me I mean I mean, there, there's a there's a lot um, of upgrades. Like I'm, I mean, I may have not got them yet, but I I, I think they're all helping, and I can start abdicating again. So, I mean, next episode I'm gonna try. I I, I mean, the thing is I I'm always away for like a really 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 long time. But maybe next episode I'm gonna try the good side just to see what it's like, because I mean. It really depends on, on I guess the, the amount of videos, of, of Realm Grinder I'm doing, like the upload rate essentially. Like at this point, it's not the most. I mean, I haven't even uploaded a single video at the time of the recording, 
single video of Realm Grinder. So, I mean, I'm honestly, I may give myself a three or four episode head start before I actually start uploading. So, I, I think that's what I'm gonna, that's what it's gonna be like. There's really not a lot. There's really not all that much to it. Like I, I have a um, currently at the time of the recording, there's the Swarm Simulator and the um, Five Hours until the Update series, and th those those two series I think are going to be pretty long. So I mean, I could be recording this video like possibly um, almost months before I actually upload it. I'm not sure when the first upload is going to be, but I, I, I think it, I think it will, it's, it's going to be really cool to see this, this series continue. I, I mean, I'm starting to like this game a lot more. I under, now that I understand more of what it does, um, I, I think I can come to enjoy it more. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.